far from the roads and highway lookouts were on part of the Fraser River few get to see. Environmental groups say it's vital habitat for young fish. Hundreds of millions of young salmon rear in and around these islands and during high water actually on the islands. So the environmental values here are immense. Here, let me just bring you a little closer here. We land at Strawberry Island, part of an 80 kilometer long section of river valued for its protective natural shoreline. This was all heavily treed with cottonwood. This just gives you an idea of the scale of the clear cutting that's taken place here. It's been, it's been massive. And it's One of Canada's the, leading river experts and conservationists, Mark Angelo, labels the area the heart of the Fraser. We think there has to be a plan to secure, protect. He says it's vital to the river's future. This is a huge issue. When you look at the extent of the damage being done as seen behind me, and to know that that's occurring in the midst of the most productive stretch of river in our entire country, then that qualifies this, in our view, as the most urgent river issue in all of Canada. The fear is logging will lead to erosion, destroying vital areas where fish shelter during high waters. The Federal Department of Fisheries recently concluded some of the work has already damaged fish habitat on two of the islands. They've ordered corrective measures and say charges are possible. The B.C. government says it's aware of the issue, but so far hasn't taken any action because the land has been privately held for decades. The owners want to turn the forest into this, fields for berries and other valuable crops in an area where land is in short supply. One of the farmers developing the land didn't want to do an on-camera interview. He told me he agrees fish are important, but he said, so is using the land to produce food. Sport fishing for giant sturgeon is also worth millions of dollars every year. And river guides like Dean Work fear those valuable endangered fish will suffer if development continues. It is potentially the most productive salmon, sturgeon, steelhead river in the entire world. There is nothing more sacred to me than this entire river and all of its habitat. In addition to farming, a proposal to build bridges to the islands raises fears of additional environmental impacts and ever greater development. If we can find a way to protect this area, it's so important. That will be one of the great conservation milestones in the history of our country. Conversely, if we fail, uh, that would be like a shot to the heart of this great river. We're uh, working with governments and potential donors. Buying the islands back in order to protect them has been floated, but so far, a deal remains elusive. Greg Rasmussen, CBC News, on the Fraser River.